Hello and welcome to Indulge with Iti. If it's your first time stopping by, my name is Itadal and I post food and lifestyle videos every week for your viewing pleasure. Today's recipe is a fragrant rice dish that is inspired by Middle Eastern and Southeast Asian flavors. This aromatic meatball pilaf will have your kitchen smelling like a Middle Eastern souk. I hope you enjoy this recipe and bring it into your homes. Without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. To prepare this recipe, you will need the following ingredients. Minced meat, mushrooms, salt, cinnamon and bay leaves, chicken seasoning cube, garlic, seven spice, this is a Middle Eastern spice blend, turmeric, chili powder, coriander powder, onions, green beans, vermicelli noodles, Thai green chilies, olive oil, and basmati rice. The first thing we're going to do is add hot water into a bowl of rice. We're going to cover this rice and allow it to sit aside until we are ready to use it. So roughly around one hour. Soaking the rice in hot water will speed up the cooking time. It will also help the rice become light and fluffy and also come out in individual pieces once it's ready. Next, we're going to chop and clean our vegetables, starting with the green beans and then the onions and then the mushrooms. Now let's season our minced meat. Crush two cloves of garlic into the minced meat. Into that, add a teaspoon of seven spices, a teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of chili powder, and one teaspoon of salt. Give the mince a good mixing to ensure that all the spices are well distributed. Cover the meat with some plastic and set it aside. Crush the remaining garlic with a bit of salt and add the green chilies. Into a preheated frying pan, add the vermicelli noodles. Toast them until they start to look golden. Next, add the olive oil into a preheated saucepan, followed by the bay leaves and cinnamon sticks. Now let us form our meatballs. You want to add them gradually into the pot. Fry them until they start to brown. Remove the meatballs and set them aside. Now into that same pot add the onions. The delicious juices from the meat and fats will also enhance the flavours of this dish. Saute the onions until they start to appear transparent. Into the pot add the crushed garlic and chilli. After a minute or so of frying, add the chili powder, the remaining coriander powder, the remaining seven spices, and the turmeric powder. Fry all these spices with the onions for a few minutes. Now add the seasoning cubes. It's now time to reintroduce the meatballs. Mm. 
Our rice has been resting for over an hour at this point, and as you can see, it has absorbed all of that water. Add the rice into the pot. Because this rice is partially cooked, it's going to take less time to prepare this dish. Add the remaining salt into the rice, followed by the toasted vermicelli noodles. Stir all the ingredients together. Add half a cup of water into the rice. Stir the rice. Once the rice begins to simmer, add the green beans, followed by the mushrooms. Cover the pot and cook the rice for 15 to 20 minutes on low to medium heat. At this stage, there's still a bit too much moisture in my rice, so I'm going to cover it with some baking paper and let it simmer for five more minutes. Well, there you have it. Our meatball pilaf is ready. Time to plate up. I hope you're hungry. I served this rice dish with some chicken drumsticks that I roasted in the oven and a homemade tomato, chili, and parsley salsa. As always, the first bite is yours. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, I'd love to invite you to hit that subscribe button and become an honorary indulger. Until next week, goodbye.